in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed purpose and destiny now you begin to know that this is what God has called you into out of the abundance of the vast encounters out of the abundance of a life dedicated to learning to doctrine to prayer to fellowship with the spirit it is impossible ladies and gentlemen to maximize this phase of your life and not have a rich robust profitable stature in the spirit it is the absence of these that is responsible for weak believers, ignorant believers, and believers who are not profitable as far as kingdom come is concerned. Now watch this. Let me go to the third phase for the sake of our discussion tonight. The third phase is the phase of empowerment and release. Empowerment and release release there does not mean leaving you empowerment and now releasing you to be a witness listen never stand before Pharaoh when you have not stood before God it is a risk to stand before Pharaoh until you know the God who has sent you when he called Moses, Moses said, don't send me to Pharaoh. That man is a wizard. And it takes more than English or Hebrews for him to deliver the people. I have the destiny of a deliverer, but who shall I tell Moses has sent me? Many of you were called, but you are not yet sent and you started going. The fact that God called you does not mean he has sent you. He called you to himself he sends you to the world let me repeat he calls you to himself he sends you to the world i can call you let me use a gentleman here come sir watch this have i called him has he answered the call i called him to myself now go back who sent you i don't doubt your call but i doubt your witness because when he calls you he makes you he empowers you then he sends you God called me is not enough to be effective God calls you to fellowship with Jesus God calls you to fellowship with the word God calls you to fellowship with the spirit then he sends you he said when I sent thee lackest thou anything when I sent you not when you went Is someone learning now? So the face of empowerment. This is where the Holy Ghost introduces you to the mystery of the anointing. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil hear me there are levels in the spirit where you collide with the power of the highest in Luke chapter 1 from verse 35 when the angel brought glad tidings to Mary, Mary asked a question. Verse 34, 
How shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. Joshua Selman, how can God use me to build a global ministry? Seeing that I came from a village somewhere in Port Harcourt. Is it really true that one day I'll be a mother to nations? Is it really true that one day I'll be an apostle to the nations? Is it really true that one day I will take the baton of the fathers who have joined the cloud of witnesses? Mary asks a question. How shall it be like God has told you many great things and little you is sitting there wondering, can God really make something out of my life? The answer is found in verse 35. And the angel replied, Mary, Luke 1, 35. The Holy Ghost will come upon you and the power of the highest. Don't ask how you will go to the nations. Don't ask how you will go to Europe, America. Help them, please. The power of the highest is the mystery behind the exploits of men in this kingdom. It takes more than intellect and human connection. Hear me. It takes the Holy Ghost to make a generation hear you. It takes the power of God that mantles your life. It takes the power of God for the sick to be healed. It takes the power of God for the oppressed to be apakatoshka dibata. It takes the power of God. Hear me. No matter how transformed you are, without empowerment, you will only be a frustrated, knowledgeable believer. It's important to know but you must receive the engracing to defend what you know. There are many believers who can talk spiritual talk. I know my God. He's a liar of the tribe of Judah. He can lift. He can bless and we clap. Then when it is time to prove the reality of the power of God. Maybe God is speaking to a man of God. You have done well in the area of transformation, but this is the missing link to your ministry. To the point where if you say, God bless you, people cannot say amen again because they are so used to the powerlessness of your speakings. Hear me. I understand our Father in the Lord that the Jew is going to be graciously visiting Port Harcourt. I think in a matter of days or so, a week or a little over a week. Such an honor and a privilege for your soul to be able to host this general, global general again. A father of fathers indeed. Now please listen. Baba can stand here and say God bless you. And as simple and quiet as it is, the testimonies that follow... As at the time he's saying it, there are people who have no business rising to certain levels. But the kind of energy that has been generated through decades of interaction with the Spirit, that is the energy that is released. I flew here from Abuja and every time I fly, it's a lesson to me about what power can do. The same plane that is going to be flying 35,000 feet above sea level, it starts very slow sometimes you would think the plane is too big to fly as it's moving you will think all of the the pressure gravity the force can stand it but you see when it starts at the wrong way it begins to run it gets to a speed where it becomes unfair for the plane to remain on the ground Th there is there is a level of speed that when that aircraft gets to it will lift within a moment and in less than a minute it's in the air for someone you are saying apostle have been walking slow there is the energy of the spirit coming on you a time will come in your life you will run like elijah then you will fly like the eagle help them please please hear me in this sermon tonight I just described for you my spiritual journey with God. Authentic power is beyond impartation. It will take a track record of properly following these phases. 
many people keep receiving hands laid on them with an empty mind the absence of a track record with the holy spirit the ministry of prayer and the word that's why the impartation does not serve the value of impartation is that it comes upon a knowledgeable vessel are we together the spirit of the living god when that power from on high comes upon you ladies and gentlemen it is able to turn Saul into Paul. Ah, it is able to turn Sarai into Sarah. Tonight, the Lord has sent me here to give us an opportunity to experience all three phases. For someone, the first phase is your desperate need. You were invited for this crusade probably thank you for coming for someone what you need is the grace and the energy to step into a season of radical transformation and renewal some of you who are already prematurely exposed in ministry may need to take a little break and say this shame and reproach that I keep bringing on the altar I am tired of it I need to return back and file myself not from a competitive standpoint but so that i can become a battle axe that cuts indeed then the final phase i believe there are many people here who are sincerely saying apostle i with all humility i can say that i've submitted myself to doctrine and learning but the power of God seems to be absent from my life, my family, my ministry, and my business. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, you cannot accomplish the purposes of God in the strength of the flesh. And you see, the thing about spiritual power is that if it is there, it is there. If it is not there, it is not there. There is no hoping, wishing. You can know that it has come. He says, such as I have. You can know you have it. We see the rain of your love We see the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear We see the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain let it rain hey, open the flood gates of heaven let it rain let it rain let it rain let it rain say manana masia la bana shabra da te manana mana masia la bana Shalimana sena maniana, sena de, sena da, sena da. Shalaga barakata pransa da balakato shafra kada balakos. Kapranda kabarato safra kashka da balakata praska bena kaposiata. Kranda kabaraka bakato shafra kada balakata. Help at the barakata, ete shabariata. Empra katos kadavakata, shabada, 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 shabada. Empra kepe reke te katos kape malakata. Hear me, Prophet Joel said, "Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm, put a cut." I came by the road of a higher priesthood to sound an alarm that there is a revival coming. There are men and women of God that must arise, arise, arise. Awake thou that sleepest, and Christ shall give thee life. The ministry of the Holy Ghost, bringing empowerment, bringing empowerment, capacity to represent Him as a witness 
He said, but ye shall receive power. Ye shall receive power. Not just knowledge. Ye shall receive power. Hear me. When that grace comes upon you, <laughs> Saul, you may be the son of Kish, but when you meet prophet Samuel, you will be turned into another man. You will come to the garrison of the Philistines. Someone tonight is about to be turned to another man. Turned to another man. Open your mouth wherever you are and begin to cry for the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth right where you are. Spirit of the living God. You are the maker of men. The quickener of our spirit man. Someone pray. Hallelujah, hear me. Hear me. There is a cloud of God's glory over this congregation. For some of you, God is saying, I've been waiting for you to hear this message. To connect it to the dreams that you've been having. You have been seeing yourself mightily used by God. But you've been saying, how shall I become that? This message was a roadmap for you. There are many ladies here. You will rise after the order of Deborah. Mighty warriors indeed. Mighty warriors. Like Deborah. Mighty warriors. Mighty warriors. Mighty warriors, bring them out. Mighty warriors by the Spirit, mighty warriors by the power of the Holy Ghost, mighty warriors in the Spirit. Now, hear me. There are three things we are going to do here very quickly. Fire is about to fall in this place. Please, I want everybody, let your hearts be opened. Don't say you cannot receive, no matter what level and dimension. There is something more. Something more. Ministry without results, there is something more. Power needs to come upon your life. The world is tired of explanations. The Bible does not say they are waiting for the explanations. No more excuses. You need to access power from heaven. Now hear me please. Please hear me. Listen very carefully. Just leave those under the anointing. You don't have to distract them. There is a reason why we ask that they come. However, I want to pray. Remember what I told you. Anyone under the anointing close to you, please. You have a duty to help them so they don't injure themselves. But I need to pray. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You are a The covenant keeping God. Ya 
Now, please hear me. Without distraction. For those who are going to be coming out now that I'm going to call, please be mindful of those on the floor so that you do not injure them. In a very orderly way. I'm going to make an altar call. There is no point deceiving yourself and lying. There's no point cajoling you. You can know that you are saved and you can know that you are lost based on this description tonight for some of you you have not even started the journey in the custom of our father i'm going to count one to five now listen carefully in running out i repeat be mindful of those in front and use the spaces available you are saying apostle i came for this meeting my heart has been yearning for jesus I just didn't know it was Jesus I was crying for. Or you are here saying, Apostle, I remember making this decision some time back. But as it is, I cannot say that I'm walking in the things of God. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, there's no point pretending. I repeat, as you come out, be mindful of these people. I'm going to count one to five. Run like there's fire on the mountain and come to Jesus. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Please make sure you are really coming to Jesus. Two. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died. And that he died for me. Three. Someone is finally winning that war of destiny. Nothing to be ashamed of. Come. Come. Everyone who thirsts, let him come. 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 Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name. Jesus, something happens when I mention your name come come if it is for jesus i will still give you a few seconds come someday look up please one glorious morning you will wake up like any other day perhaps going to lecture for a student to the market for a, a housewife going to your job for a career person Perhaps going to church for a pastor, a crusade for another pastor, and then there will be a sudden disappearance of people. That glorious morning, when the trumpet will sound, you remember the old song we used to sing? When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Let's sing it one more time. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory hallelujah till he returns 
For calls me home Here in the love of Christ I'll stand Even after 30 years Till he returns Or calls me home it's here in the love of Christ I'll stand as a man of God as a husband, a wife a young child, an old woman a CEO till he returns or calls you home it's here in the love of Christ you stand now watch this for those of you who are in front here, thank you for the bold decision. There are counselors giving you a card. Counselors, leave the card so that they will see. Please make sure if you are, if you are in front and you've not received a card, just lift your hand and they will slip one. Counselors, let's do that very quickly. They would slip a card to your hand. Now, please, I, I do not think all of them will be able to complete the card immediately. I wish you do, but when it's time to pray, you may need to pause so you concentrate on the prayer. Um, if you can, it should take maybe less than a minute to legibly fill it with all your details because there will be a follow-up system. And then for those who are making this decision by television, internet, or probably you are watching by way of rebroadcast again across the nations of the earth, the U.S., Europe, and any other state in Nigeria, across Africa, distance is no barrier. Jesus is calling you here at this crusade to the glory and the praise of his name. He's giving you an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. Now, for those of you who are in front, may I request that you lift your right hand high above your head. Remember, the starting point for the believer's life is to make things right with Jesus. Say this after me. Let it be loud and clear. Mean it from your heart and unto Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I declare that I'm born again. I am a child of God. Amen. Amen. Keep those beautiful hands lifted as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you with gratitude. For no man comes to you except you draw them. And the Bible says, blessed is the man whom the Lord causes to approach him. You have caused these ones to come. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will no wise cast away. In the name of Jesus and by the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare over you that the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave is broken. Every legal access the devil has over your life by the blood of the eternal covenant is hereby broken. In the name of Jesus, I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And I commend you to the ministry of the word. I declare that from tonight you'll be grounded and established in righteousness. you go forward ever and backward never. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, while we clap for them, may I request that you all please move to my right, which will be your left from where you are standing. There are counselors who will have a word with you very quickly. Please do comply with them. They will have your details. Just pray with you and you'll quickly join the remaining part of the service. Can we give them a big, big God bless you as they go? Go ahead. Celebrate them. Go ahead. Celebrate them.
Is this the best you can do for them, Port Harcourt? Hallelujah. Now, you are still part of the service. Don't feel left out because you're just moving to the left. Um, let me just take about five minutes if you would spare me that time. I know that our time is fast spent. But may I request that you lend me five minutes just to speak over someone's life. I do not believe that a people will gather unto God this way and go back the same way they came. I do not believe it. The God that I serve is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. My God is a miracle walker. God is you are a glorious God is, he's a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. God is a destiny changer. God is a miracle. Hallelujah. I want to quickly pray. We may not have the time, sadly, to take testimonies. I'm not sure. But it's important that I do this. You see, the preaching of the gospel was designed to go hand in glove with the ministry of signs and wonders. Are we together? In John chapter 4 and verse 48, it says, Except ye see miraculous signs and wonders, ye will not believe. So I want to pray. It's going to be an all-encompassing prayer. God is already ministered to people and is still ministering to others. I'm going to pray for the sick, pray for the oppressed. And for those of you who are trusting God for any miracle and any manifestation that becomes a consolation to your Christian experience, here is your chance to receive. I believe in the power of God. I am a beneficiary of the power of God, not just a dispenser of the same. I know what the power of God is able to do. So may I request, if you can, just stand for a moment and then I pray for you. I want to minister to the sick now. If you are sick in your body, I want you to place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. And the honor, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. We believe in him that he died and rose from the grave. We believe that he's able to heal, he's able to deliver, he's able to bless. I want to pray for you right now. I want you to believe in the healing power of Jesus. In as much as we, for the constraint of time, may not have the opportunity, or perhaps we may just have one or two or three testimonies, and then you can share the remaining at the subsequent sessions. The most important thing is that you experience the healing power of Jesus.
saints and the angels bow. Redeemed, worship you now. Such a strong presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed, worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Now hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's such a strong anointing that is touching people right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I don't know why God does this thing sometimes, but it's very strange. Watch this now. I'm about to pray for you. No, 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 no. Please don't, 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 don't do that to the gentleman. Please, someone guide these people. Don't do that. Please take him back. Don't do that. You're going to hurt the gentleman. Please. Don't do that. It's wrong. Please don't do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? Now watch this. I hear a very loud shout in my spirit. When that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. This is what I heard in my spirit. This is the shout. The Bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Shout a loud amen as I begin to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I decree and declare. Every devil of infirmity. In your body. Around your life. I command it to give way right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Every sickness. I decree and declare be healed now. Eye conditions. Be healed now. Deaf ears. I command be open now bone conditions I declare be healed now help them please you don't have to bring them out again don't worry you don't have to bring those under the anointing again that's fine just, just manage them where you are There's someone you could not hear with your, your left ear. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition here represented, I declare be cleansed right now. The Lord is showing me at least four ladies. For two of them, you have, I don't know if it's been medically verified, but you have multiple lumps, your left breast, multiple lumps. I'm seeing the power of God touch you. I declare that that devil leaves right now. Now, that devil leaves now. Help her please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer, be healed in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, again I say, be healed in Jesus' name. There's someone you have suffered from pile, pile, very painful pile. The power of God is touching you right now. I don't know, but the Lord is showing me a woman who is a sister to someone who is here. Seven years, she's not had a child. Seven years. This is what I see in my vision. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, let this be the season of fruitfulness for her. Please help her. Let this be the season of... Help them please, my God. 
Look what God is doing there. There's someone who is having, I don't know if he's had palpitations, but I know that it's a cardiovascular disease. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, be healed now. God is showing me one, a gentleman. I don't know if it's that you lost your sense of smell or you cannot smell at all completely. In the name of Jesus, let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. You are having sleep abnormalities. You go to lie down and you barely sleep for 30 minutes and that's it. You are not able to sleep again. The Bible says, but he giveth his beloved sleep. I decree and declare that whatever medical issue that is, it comes to an end right now. Every bone problem I command be healed now every problem with your joints I command be healed now in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now negative genotypes change now There's someone you have a problem swallowing. I don't know what problem you have with your throat. It's, it looks like, you know how you swallow food and it doesn't go completely. It's been like that for a long time. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, you are a bit elderly, maybe in your 50s or thereabouts. You don't seem to be able to stand in the sun for a long time. The moment you stand for a short time, you start having, it's like breathlessness and tiredness, like a nauseating feeling. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare unto you, the power of God is bringing you healing right now. And for some, you may not be sick in terms of bodily problems, but there may be serious problems around your finances, around your family. Let me prophesy upon you. He said, I prophesied I was com as I was commanded and there was a sound. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to receive this prophetic word. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. Every closed door over your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus. Believe it. I speak to that door. Be open now. Help them please. Help them please. Be open now. Ephata, be open now. Embargo of shame and reproach that the devil has placed as a garment over you. I tear that garment off right now. I tear that garment of shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Master, we have toiled all night. There are many of you who have labored and toiled without profit. A grace is about to come on you. I decree and declare, go forth and start excelling. I pray for those who are students. Eli who said in chapter 32 and verse 8 of Job that there is a spirit in man. He says, and the breath, the inspiration of the Almighty is able to make men of understanding. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I pray over your mind and your intelligence. Step into a dimension of God-like intelligence. 
retentive capacity in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. For everyone who made it for this crusade tonight, I prophesy to you, from January till December, I command laughter. I command laughter. The sound of sadness and mourning will be far from your habitation in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm still praying over your life that when men say there is a casting down, as for you and for your loved ones, let your testimony be that there is a lifting up. It says your gates shall be continually open. They will not be shut day and night so that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. Hear me. Everyone who has been mandated by God to hold your hand as a destiny helper this year, I speak to the north, to the south, the east and the west. I call them to gravitate towards your life. Hallelujah. Let me speak to someone as I prepare to wrap up who has gone through negative seasons and it looks like your service to God has not brought profit. I have a prophetic word for you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, in this season, my God, who is also your God, is doing a new thing. My God, who is also your God, is doing a new thing. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for someone who is in the order of Gideon coming as the least in your family and the least in the tribe and it looks like nothing good has come out of you in the name that is above all names I speak to you by the grace that lifts men from their lowly estate to the place of nobility and honor may that grace locate you now. Hallelujah. Please make sure you are receiving these prophetic words. They are not empty, believe me. Nathaniel said about Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? It was not his fault. He had seen a track record of great Nazarenes fall, like Samson. Men who would rise and not live long. They did not have longevity of honor and results. I pray for someone. Any pattern you have seen in your family... People dying before their time. Women becoming the men and men becoming the women. All kinds of negative patterns. My Bible says blotting out every handwriting. And the ordinances that spoke against us. That he nailed it to his cross. Be delivered once and for all. Help them please. Be delivered once and for all. Hallelujah. We're wrapping up. And every spiritual force that has constituted itself as an altar, impeding the growth and the progress of men, let me speak to you. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, over Potakot, over God's people. Be ye lifted ancient doors, and let the King of glory come in. I decree and declare, these gates and doors give way to your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is anyone here, the spirit of untimely death is roaming around the corridors of your life or for your loved ones. That the devil has vowed that there must be a cry of premature death over your family. I stand in partnership with all the graces here represented. And we declare the fullness of your days you must fulfill. The fullness of your days you must fulfill. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me encourage you finally for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. 
I want to end my teaching tonight by encouraging you that it pays to live for Jesus. There are many distractions in our world today from social media to status quo, what we believe defines civilization. I cannot end this meeting without charging your heart. The Bible says, listen very Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.